Sachi, where you flying today? I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and out, in and out of state. Hey y'all, hey. It's Ashley Smith TV here, and I'm here. I don't want to say I'm back, <laughs> but I'm here. Um, I've seen all of your messages in my DMs. I've seen all of your comments. And just in general, people have been wondering, where has Ashley Smith TV been? I want to say that I have those answers for you, but I don't. Um, all in all, I've just been away from YouTube because I just really didn't have the time to curate the content that I would like to post on here, YouTube. I've been active on Twitter and I've definitely been active on Instagram. So if you are not already following me there, my Instagram is ashleysmith.tv and my Twitter is ashleysmithtv. How is everybody? Please in the comments let me know what's been going on. I know you guys have been missing the flight attendant vlogs, but if you've been keeping up with the aviation industry, it has been a complete shit show. Yes, I've said it. Um, and I've been working right in the middle of that shit show. So the balance between the shit show and trying to get content while I was at work, it's just been a lot the past couple of months. And honestly, I've just been going to work, I guess, um, trying to enjoy it the best way I know how. And then, you know, coming home and then enjoying like my personal life. And you guys know that I don't typically record my personal life on YouTube. I don't really share that with you here on YouTube. But all in all, guys, I am not here to say that I'm back because I don't know how consistent I'll be in posting videos. But over the past three to four months, I have actually been filming, but it hasn't been a consistent see on the trips when I was filming. So I'll film like day one and then forget to film on day two and then try to catch back up on day three when the vlogs just, it just doesn't tell the stories that I, you know, am once used to telling you guys. So it's just all over the place, but I definitely wanted to bring you guys something special. So literally all of the video that I've taken over the past three to four months as a flight attendant, I'm bringing them here to you now as a vlog. It's gonna be super random. Things are just gonna be all over the place and it probably won't make sense, but it's definitely gonna be a video for you guys and I hope you enjoy it. Aside from that, I wanna say thank you to FabFitFun for sponsoring this video, you guys. This subscription box is gonna be my all-time fave because I was able to specifically put in things that I was interested in getting like I had options and I got like a lot of travel gear stuff that's gonna go perfect in my um, luggage when I do travel um, for work and travel for leisure so of course let's get into it let me show you guys what's in the box we have slippers <laughs> and I have needed new slippers for a very long time but it's a matter of just I don't I wouldn't say being lazy but just a matter of just not having the time to go get the slippers. And they're so cute because they actually match what I have on now. And I'm gonna put these in my bag because I'm actually going to LA tomorrow. <laughs> oh, they are! They're so cute and they're so cozy. They're cute and they're cozy. But again, too, this is their winter holiday box. So much stuff in here. Also, aside from my slippers, we have a HelloFresh discount code. We love that. Gotta love HelloFresh. Shout out to HelloFresh. And also, how cute is this? Like I was able to decide whether or not I wanted um, jewelry in here and I have some Kate Spade New York earrings. These studs are so adorable and they're perfect for work because you know, you can't have all that big dangly jewelry. And these are so pretty. Look how pretty these are. Oh my God, they're so pretty. Honestly, I wanna put them on now. Oh, I totally forgot to address my haircut. <laughs> you guys are like, oh my gosh, she cut her hair. Oh my gosh, she cut her hair. Those of you on Instagram and Twitter already know that I have had, um, that I've cut my hair. But no, I didn't really cut my hair. <laughs> this is a weave. How cute are these? Oh, these are so cute. So yeah, the Kate Spade earrings in my Fab Fit Fun box. Put these to the side. And then I also have some liquid liner from Aesthetica. Oh my God, I literally needed some liquid liner. I went shopping the other day and I totally forgot that the liquid liner is what I needed. Didn't make a list. I was literally in the store with just vibes only. And of course I forgot what I went in there for 
walked out, did not get the liquid liner, but Fat Fit Fun is literally coming to the rescue and it's black. Perfect. Cause I was literally gonna go back to the store for it. Literally gonna go back to the store for it. Okay, let's see if we can do like a swatch to see how, let's see. Yes, and that's a thick liquid liner, so it's gonna go perfect on. This is just what I needed. We have some skincare going on, which is perfect because your girl just got a facial, needed some new skincare products, so I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna put this to the side with all of my other goodies. And we have Grown Alchemist body cream. Oh, how convenient is all of this stuff? Like I literally was just saying how I needed some like body cream went couldn't purchase any because it was out of stock the body cream that i needed was out of stock and this is coming in handy let's smell it <gasps> oh this smells so pretty let me try some on let's try some on this is i told you guys this is grown alchemist biological beauty it's a body cream body cream my friends we love a body cream hopefully it's moisturizing I can't rub it on the back of my hand because I swatched that liner. But, oh my God, this smells so pretty. And this is like the perfect tube that will not bust in your bag when you travel. So I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm definitely taking this to LA with me. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay, so this is a um, little lunch box from our place. And this is so cute. For one, can we just get into the color? This like pinkish, peachish color is so pretty. And then it has the rose gold here. You guys know the girls love rose gold, okay? And then how cute is this that it comes with um, chopsticks and then a fork and a spoon? And of course, a knife. You can't forget the knife. That is so cute. We open the top and you stick some food in there. Oh, how cute is this? And it's actually two containers. Oh, this is so perfect. Still smell the lotion. We love a nice long lasting lotion, okay? We love that. The liquid IV is definitely made for your wellness and fitness journeys. It's gonna come perfect when you're working out for sure. And then we have three different flavors. We have strawberry, liquid IVs. Oh my God, this is just gonna be perfect addition to my water. Definitely need this. Um, so this one is the strawberry one. Lemon, ginger. Your girl loves ginger, okay? I'm not gonna even hold you. And then what is this? Tangerine. Hmm. Tangerine, it's for hydration, energy and of course, immune support. So, although the past couple of months I have not been working out as much as I was during quarantine, I'm definitely on my way to restarting my journey and it starts here. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that to the side. All right, I think that is about it, but last but not least, I have a robe and I'm so excited about the robe because who doesn't love a cozy robe? Like, oh my goodness. How cute is this? Look at this robe. It is so cozy and it goes right over my huge sweater. This winter box has up to a $300 value for only $49.99 each season. Full disclaimer guys, you might not be able to pick some of the products that you see in this video, but don't worry, it's a ton of other options for you guys to choose from. This box is available in the US, Canada, plus the UK. Use code ASHSMITH to get a free mini box when you sign up for a seasonal membership for only $49.99. All right guys, now back to the video. Hey y'all, hey, what's up? Whew. I am back, fresh off the plane from Hawaii. I had one day off to like, you know, unpack my bag, repack my work bag, rest, edit video, run some errands, and then be back at the airport the following day. I have a sweet little three day that I pray the Lord stays the same. Everything has just been so crazy around the aviation industry from cancellations, delays, like literally every day. We're so short staffed to the point where there is, it's literally impossible to stay on time. Like it's crazy. 
My airline is typically known for not having any delays. We're always known for our on-time departures, but we have been struggling lately. We need the help. It's time to hire. It is crazy out here, absolutely crazy. So I do value and enjoy my time when I'm at home and not at work. I'm not even in the mental state to be able to explain to you guys like the struggles that we are suffering back here. But all in all, I bring to you smiles, laughs, and giggles just to get through my work trip because you guys know that I enjoy talking to you. Like I said, I'm fresh off vacay. Your girl got a nice little tan. And yeah, today, let me tell you where I'm heading. So I know that I have two flights today. I think I go from Chicago to Dallas and then Dallas to New York City. Ha! Then I have an overnight in New York. And then once I leave New York tomorrow, I go from New York to St. Louis, St. Louis to back to Dallas, and then Dallas to DC. And then the last day, y'all, I have one flight home to Chicago and I'll land around like four o'clock. So it's a sweet trip. This is actually a trip that I had on my board. I'm not on reserve, thank you, Jesus. However, there's like a reserve in giveaway and they have like $450 on it for next week. I may or may not pick it up. Like that's $450 cash that I can just like, it could just be mine instantly. So I'm thinking about picking it up. I don't know, but y'all know how I feel about picking stuff up. Cause it's always something. Every time I pick something up, it's always like something always goes wrong. So I typically just don't pick up because on top of that, I just work my line because flying has been so exhausting, not only lately, but like in the past, you guys could kind of see that it's just very overwhelming it's very draining and it has been that way for me not only last year well not last year because i didn't fly last year around like 2019 the end of 2019 i was just like struggling with um the flying it's just been really rough um long duty days very short overnights ton of reroutes it's just the uncertainty behind flying the exhaustion behind flying it's just really really been a lot so do us a favor and be very kind to your flight attendants, your pilots, and anybody that you see that's working in the aviation industry, just be kind because we are all going through it. We're just coming to work to make sure that you guys get to your destination safe. That's what we're here for. Anyways, yeah, like I said, I have a three day trip. Two today, three tomorrow, one the very last day. I'm so looking forward to that. Hopefully it doesn't change, but y'all, why don't I come to work with my AirPods dead? Like completely dead, they do not work. <laughs> I forgot to charge them, but it's so weird. I never charge my AirPods and they're always working. So it makes sense that they're finally dead. Like they finally finally decided to die. In more important news, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm flying lead today. And I looked at my schedule, I was like, oh, I'm flying lead, yay. Which you guys typically know that I like flying lead because I like being up there like in my little area kind of by myself. So I'm not really complaining about that. Of course, lead is more responsibility. There's that. All in all, y'all, I'm about to board this flight. We are delayed, of course. We're definitely delayed. Um, I think I have about until like 3.15 to get there. So I'm on the A side of the gate. So I decided not to go to the lounge. Normally, if my gate is on the B side, I'll pop in the lounge, pull up my water bottle, say hi, check my mailbox, you know, trade some trips or something like that. But I didn't even have the en energy to go to the lounge because we're on the Acon course side. That's where my gate is today. So I didn't even bother, so I said whatever. So anyways, guys, I'm done rambling. I'll try to get as much content as I can um, this trip. I will say that you guys kind of have been seeing my past vlogs to where it has been so hard to get content. Like from it being turbulence, me just being exhausted, and me just like ultimately not having the energy to, um, or the, like I didn't want to record like it just wasn't interesting I wasn't in the greatest of moods and I didn't want to put that like on camera so I just kind of didn't record so my vlogs have not been the best and I also haven't been posting my vlogs as much as I normally do because again it's been crazy out here it has been crazy it has not been friendly skies and I just did not feel comfortable recording for you anyways hopefully this trip will put me back in a better mood and i'll be able to get the content that you guys also deserve totally forgot to say this if you are new here i am ashley smith tv i'm a flight attendant vlogger and i also talk all things travel if you are old here shout out to my OC og subscribers i love you guys so much thank you for holding it down and still being here and supporting me guys if you don't already follow me on social media go ahead and follow me on twitter at ashley smith tv where i talk a lot of shit Follow me on Instagram at AshleySmith.tv and then like my page on Facebook at AshleySmithTV. Y'all, again, I'm just talking a hell of a lot. I am about to just, I'm just chill here. I'm chilling at the airport. I'm here early. 
and I'm gonna walk over to my gate as soon as I get the notification that the plane is on the ground and that we can board. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on the plane or maybe in Dallas. I know y'all are probably like, oh my God, we haven't recorded all day. You guys are right, I haven't recorded all day because our schedule changed. I told you guys that I had a New York and a um, DC overnight. Anyways, yes, so we got rerouted. I'm no longer overnighting in DC, nor am I overnighting in New York. I'm in Omaha for 20 hours as of now, and then tomorrow I'll be in Atlanta for like 14 hours. Random change, our flights were not canceled at all. We were just rerouted. Even though this was a scheduled, scheduled trip, like I'm not on reserve or anything, I was still rerouted. However, I'm in Omaha, and I just wanna show you guys the hotel because it's rather nice in here, and I'm super excited because we have hardwood floors, so check this out. Oh, and LED mirrors, so look. So guys, when you walk in, You'll see that to the right, you have a closet or I have a closet. We have a bar area that I have loaded all of my stuff on, my electronics. I'm also on the phone and then I have my cookie that I've been eating. And then there's a mirror and there's me. We walk into the bathroom, again, more hardwood floors. We have a toilet, we have an LED mirror and then we have a walk-in, beautiful walk-in shower. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can stay here for 20 hours with no problem. And then when you walk into the room, we have the two queen beds. Like, come on, queen beds? I know that's right. And then I'm charging my ear pods because they were dead all day today. For the view, we have downtown Omaha. You can't really see it now. It's raining like crazy outside. Oh my God, I have to tell you guys about it. But this is downtown. I'll show you guys a better view of the downtown, <clears throat> excuse me, in the morning. Oh, and then I also love how we have the smart TV because I can watch Netflix. We can watch YouTube, we can watch um, Showtime too. So that's awesome. But no, what I wanted to tell you guys, today was so freaking crazy. There, not only were the reroutes crazy, but the weather was so crazy in Omaha. It was crazy landing. And then once we landed, we had to wait almost a, an hour on the tarmac before we were able to get a gate because it was thundering and lightning. And because of that, the ramp agents weren't able to come out there and pull the plane in because it wasn't safe for them to be out there. So we were just on the tarmac, just waiting. Um, that was fun, so much fun. We're here now, and honestly, I thought I was gonna have more content for you guys today, but listen, it was crazy out there. So hopefully I'll get some content for you tomorrow, but I plan on going to the gym, eating breakfast, and just enjoying my 20 hours of rest here in Omaha. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey y'all, hey, good morning. <laughs> After I didn't calm down, just went on an Instagram rant. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm about to head to the gym. I know this hotel has a very nice gym, or I'm gonna assume that it has a very nice gym because it's a very nice hotel. So fingers crossed there's a nice gym. But update. Remember I told you guys that I was going to Atlanta? Ha! I'm not going to Atlanta anymore. And I should have known once I made plans in Atlanta, they weren't gonna happen. So now, instead of 14 hours in Atlanta, I now have about negative two years and 40 minutes in Houston. Literally, I'm gonna lay down and turn right back around and head to the airport because it's literally like an eight hour overnight, which is ridiculous. You have like a long duty day and then you have less time in your overnight, which is crazy. I guess because we get extra money, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm about to head to the gym. I do not want my energy messed up today. trying to think about where I left off like what I told you guys about my trip what happened I don't know but hopefully I told you guys that I'll be overnighting in Houston for like negative 18 hours right but scheduling ended up changing my trip back to the second change not the original but the second change that was made where I was overnighting in Atlanta for 14 hours which is now 12 hours because we were delayed so we have an Atlanta overnight I'm here now and then I have two flights tomorrow home. I did head from Atlanta to DC and then DC home to Chicago and I should be in around like 4 p.m. God willing. But I'm in another hotel of the same chain as last night. And y'all, again, the hardwood floors, the LED mirror, like it's giving. Let me show y'all. Baby, the hotel is giving. 
LED, oh, I can't step all the way in the mirror because I ain't got on no pants, but <laughs> LED mirror, it's giving. <sighs> Bathroom, I disinfected everything. Walk in, we got the hardwood floor. The hardwood floor. Full body mirror. Again, I can't show y'all all of it because I'm in my underwear. But two beds. And <clears throat> I know it's not anything out here, but I'll show you anyway. Ooh, y'all, and we on the second floor. It is ghetto out there. Let me close that because ew. Reroute it. I think I've had like at least four reroutes this trip. I, Ashley Smith TV, your favorite flight attendant is not on reserve. I have a trip. I have a line. And I'm getting work for like I am on reserve. Everybody in, well, at my airline, I can't speak for the industry, but as of now, it seems like everybody at my airline is pretty much being worked like they're on reserve. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like the entire industry is like that. And it's just crazy from cancellations, ton of delays, and it's just a lot going on. Um, I only had one flight today. I'm grateful for that because things could have totally been worse. Um, and yeah, I had to take this bun down, y'all, because it is heavy on my head. I wasn't able to show you guys my braids. Or I guess I did show you guys my braids in Hawaii. Okay, in Hawaii. I showed you guys. Oh, let me take this down. I can still talk to y'all like this. But baby, these gotta calm down. You hear me? I'm trying to see if I can take them down. For my speaking engagement I have this week. Not this week, sorry. This month. Because I don't think they're going to give what I need to give for this suit I want to wear. I don't know. We got to see. But who Oh my God. Take this down. Oh, this feels so good. Y'all, I'm going to oil my scalp. Oh my gosh. Oh, that feels so good. Oil my scalp. Oof. I just don't understand why people don't answer when I call. Cause what do they be doing? If y'all ain't sitting at home waiting on my call, what are you doing? And it ain't even 10 o'clock though. You know what? I don't let the phone ring that long. Let me see if my sister is. But yeah. I know you are lying to me. My sister, right? I was gonna say my sister won't even answer. You finna go to sleep? Oh, tomorrow you work tomorrow. Yeah, I do. Oh, I forgot. Little baby ain't on vacation no more. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> I'm screaming. I ain't want nothing. Sorry. Good morning. Good morning. You guys missed me on my deadhead, but things had stayed the same. As of my last change, they stayed the same. I um, had a deadhead from Atlanta to DC, and now I work a flight from DC home to Chicago. The flight was like an hour, 17 minutes, and now we have two hours and 30 minutes on the ground in DC. I ate everything out of my food bag, so I went ahead and I purchased a little something. service announcement. Everybody stop what you're doing and listen to me right good and now. I've been getting a lot of comments under my videos, a lot of tweets, and a lot of DMs regarding my latest videos. I'm negative. I don't really like my job. And um, my attitude has changed. If you guys have been noticing in the news, that flight attendants in the aviation industry are going through quite a lot. So, if you expect me, Ashley Smith TV, to be positive about everything that's going on, 
and not give you the ups and downs of the aviation industry. I am not the channel for you. Also, my apologies to anyone if you thought that I was creating content specifically for what you wanted to see. I get on here and I post videos about the day in the life of a flight attendant, whether it's up, it's down, it's good, it's bad, it's happy or sad, negative or positive, you guys get all of it. I am not the channel for you if you're thinking that everything I post is just going to be uh, butterflies and rainbows and positivity and all of that, okay? <laughs> the videos that I posted years ago when I was first starting in the industry and things were great, okay? But now, because of COVID, because of the traveling now, things are different. Things are very different now, okay? I'm not saying that all of my vlogs are just going to be negative Nancy, but if I'm having a bad day, I'm telling you about it. If I'm having a good day, I'll tell you about it. But again, if this is not something you want to see, again, I'm not the channel for you. I'm not going to adjust my content to appease a certain audience. If you guys love me, you're going to rock with me anyway, okay? And if you love me, you'll put in my comments prayers and words of inspiration and motivation to keep me going, not negative comments telling me that you no longer want to subscribe to my channel because of the things that I'm talking about now. It's really strange. But I felt much better getting that off my chest and I hope everything was clear and understood. I don't wanna to have to talk about that again. I really don't. So if you have anything negative to say, don't even waste your time putting it in my comments. Just move on to someone else's YouTube channel, okay? We'll all be happy, all right? Love you, mean it. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and in and out.